Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today's video I want to talk to you about some cool coral colors that are just um, really pretty for right now for the summertime. So it's kind of what I call the video Corals of Summer. And um, if you're interested to see some coral colors that I picked, then okay, just so keep on with some of my um, products to see what coral colors I had and ones that I have used, um, ones that are still kind of new to me but I'm using, and I have used this palette quite a bit, um, is the Sugar Pop palette, the Sugar Pop palette from Too Faced, and of course you know it has some really, really, really pretty uh, bright colors there, and of course this one in particular has a really pretty cool color, and it's called uh, Moroccan. So I really think this is such a pretty, pretty palette. And there's a nice, real pretty coral color in there that um, will work really great for summertime right now. And it is a really gorgeous color to put on the lid, uh, in the crease, outer corner, whatever, you know. But it's just a really gorgeous color for right now. So let's go ahead and do some blushes. I do have, you know me, I'm a coral fanatic when it comes to blushes or even lip products. I do really, really enjoy my corals. And um, so I recently had gotten this new palette. It's from the Revolution um, Company and it's Makeup Revolution London. And in um, Alta, I guess they're now selling them. That's kind of where I ordered this from. I'm glad they are because, um, you know, ordering from online to get overseas can be kind of pricey sometimes. This is a whole uh, blush palette and it's in uh, Hot Spice. And in this palette, it has some really, 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 really pretty peachy, corally shades in here. So this would be a really nice one to take with you. These two on the end that you see right here seem more of a highlight to me. Both of them do. This one has more of a peach tone, a coral tone in it, and this is more of just your basic highlight. So, but it's a really nice palette. Um, there's a color here that you see. Here's like a sunset color. And there's mattes and shimmers in here. I wouldn't say they're extreme pigmented, but they're nice. But they'd be perfect for those who are a little maybe afraid to put too much coral. So the next blush is a blush from Laura Geller. I really love Laura Geller's blushes. I mean, I have a boatload of her blushes. I collect them. Um, there is quite a few more that I need to get. I know I say the word need. I don't really need them, but I, I love her blushes. This is from her Baked Elements collection. I'm not sure on, if on Ulta you can get these. I know on QVC you can, but they'll come more in a black um, packaging. This came in a kit that I had gotten uh, off of QVC from Laura Geller. So, the, they will be more in a black, or like an oval shape. And it's from the Baked Elements Collection, and the blush is in Sienna. I would definitely get the other one. There's like another color I can't believe I'm not. But there it is right there. It is super pretty. She never disappoints me with her blushes. I love Oregon blushes, and this is... No exception. I mean, this color is really, really gorgeous. Oh, there it is there. And it has a sheen to it. You really wouldn't need no highlight with this. But there, as you can see right here, even with a heavy swatch, it's not too bad, but it is so pretty. I don't know how well you're seeing the sheen, but it is so pretty. So I got three drugstore blushes here. One is kind of pretty popular out there, um, or in the beauty world and YouTube, is these Milani blushes, the uh, rose 
rose kind of blush. So this one's an 05 Coral Cove. And it is a color that can scare some people. Um, some, you know, it might not be for everybody, obviously. But it is a really bright coral color. However, I say you use a light hand, because you don't want to use a heavy hand anyway. You'll, you'll be fine. Uh, maybe use a stippling brush or something like that. But you can see, sorry for the finger guys, I swear. I don't know, just, you know, it's like one of my fingers that I use for swatching. I'm sorry. And if you blend it out, like when you first put these on or when you swatch them, they're kind of powdery a little bit, but still they swatch really nice. So the next drugstore one I have here is from the Maybelline Master Highlight Collection. I have been collecting these too. This one here was my first one I had purchased. It's a number 30 coral. And again with this, what's nice about it is it's a blush slash almost kind of like a highlight. It has the different colors of corals in there. So it's a really pretty, really pretty blush to work with. It is there. Almost looks similar to, now that I'm looking at it, Sienna from uh, Laura Geller. Close to that anyway. It's just not as pigmented as hers, so. I had to swatch it a couple times on it, but there it is right there. And it has a sheen. So again, you wouldn't have to wear no highlight for that one. Just a really pretty color. Another one that I was watching another beauty YouTuber, and I don't even know who it was. That's terrible, cause, but I do watch so many, so I sometimes forget who has what or showed what. But the L'Oreal True Match uh, blushes. I have a couple of these. This one here is called Innocent. It's an N3-4 Innocent Flush. Is that what it is? Innocent Flush, yeah. This is a really pretty blush too that gives you just a nice natural flush to the two cheeks. It is kind of what I have on. I have it on with um, a pink blush that I, it's actually, I'm actually wearing the pink one in this with this. So I kind of mixed them together, but there it is there. Innocent flush. The color must be having a, a theme here with these blushes like this, but I, I do love them kind, so I'm going to show you what I, I do love, of course. So there it is there. Again, another one that you probably won't need to highlight. It's kind of nice that these ones here you don't, because you don't have to, all you have to do is worry, try to do a contour and whatever, and you'll be ready. So the next uh, blush that I have for you is one of the, it's from the Master Glaze. It came out whenever those blushes, like these came out for Maybelline Highlight. These are the Master Glaze Face Studio Blush Stick. And this one is in Coral coral Sheen. This one here you can use a stippling brush or just obviously not drawing, but just do a couple of dabs. Um, but it is a real pretty coral color. But there it is on my finger here. And it's a nice vivid coral, but you know, with a stippling brush, which a lot of times I've learned and was recommended to use the smaller stippling brush that you can get from Elf, fairly reasonably priced, like three dollars for one of those. Um, and it works just as good just to have it in there and then dab it along on your cheeks, or if you want to, you can take your finger. If you're not saying that's, I know some people get freaked by that, but I'm, I'm not bothered. Uh, you can take it and just dab it along and then use the, you know, the brush for your fingers and just dab it along and blend it in. So let's go ahead and move on to lipsticks and lip glosses. So the first lipstick is a Revlon lipstick I have here. And it is from the uh, Super Lustrous Collection. And it's a shine. It's 825 Lover's Coral. Is that what you have to say? 
Okay, well we're gonna go down. Oh man, always. But lovers coral. And there we go. And here it is here. It's a real pretty coral color. I am wearing that uh, with another product on top. Um, and it's a real, real pretty coral color. And it does have shine to it. It's um some don't I think like these ones because of the shine. I think it's just on um, preference really. But there it is right there. It's a really pretty color. And lipstick is one of the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. Um, I haven't gotten any of the newer ones that came out, but I do have the first, uh, a bunch of the first ones that came out. This one's in melt, Melted Coral. I love them. They are very nice on the lips. Um, they do turn matte. They do have a nice candy smell. Do you know, it smells like I think I said this in my video, but it has a candy smell to it. So right there it is. That's the coral shade and the melted uh, from Too Faced. So, and it does turn matte after after a while. Then these color rich uh, bombs from. Is it Royale? Jeez, I'm forgetting on my Yeah, the, the Color Rich Lip Balms from L'Oreal. I have a couple of these. I have like a pink color and then I have this one, which is 418 Caring Coral. Is the color Caring Coral. These are really nice because not only do they give a nice color cap, but they're moisturizing. Now, it does give more of a sheer, corally color right there. But yeah, if you're not feeling it to be a bright coral, you can go with that one. And then we're going to go ahead and show you a Butter Gloss from NYX NYX. I don't know, some people say NYX, some say NYX, I don't know. Um, but this one's in Peaches and Cream. And this is definitely a gorgeous coral color. This I have on my lips right now. Which I'm going to put a little bit more on. This is one I used a lot when we went to Atlantic City. And, uh... I really love it. And there it is right there, peaches and cream, really pretty color, you can wear it alone or with something if you want to, it's up to you. And then the last shade is from one of the Maybelline Elixirs. These are really great in the drugstore and for a lip gloss. I would say, because like I really love Maybelline's lipsticks in the drugstore, and then CoverGirl's my other. Those are my two favorites of all. And um, this one here from Maybelline Color Elixir is in breathtaking, is it? Yeah, breathtaking apricot. I'm not sure how well you'll see that, but. These are one of my favorite lip glosses. Um, I love the little deal for applicator and everything. And the color path on these are just great. Um, I can't, I mean, I like them better. I like it, like, I like this one better than me. I mean, I know everybody raves over the better glosses, but if I had to pick and choose, it would be the name of an elixir I would go for because I just, I love the color payoff and right there it is. I mean, it looks similar to peaches and cream as you see, but I like the elixirs just better. They're just better for me and I I know some part of it because like everybody may have little better glasses and I do I mean obviously I have one in here and I do like them and enjoy them. Uh, but the elixirs, if I had to pick, it would be the elixirs. So go ahead and let me know down below in the comments of um, maybe some of your coral faves. 
because uh, possibly, you know, there might be something I might check into and, uh, you know, order it because I do love my corals. So, okay beauties, that's everything. So I hope you appreciated that. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would so much appreciate it. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button that's down below somewhere. I'm not sure which side. But anyway, no, right over here, here, this way. And it's free. There's no charge or anything like that. So you can come join me each week. And I have a couple of videos up. And um, I would love to have you join me each week. So, and as always, please, you know my drill. And you know this is my... My, my quote and it will always be is to just be yourself, love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care and I will see you then. Bye bye.